All right, here's how to get A to P verified. You just bought the phone number. You were in settings, phone numbers, basically under manage numbers. You purchased a phone number. You hit proceed to buy, and now you need to get verified because A to P means application to person because we wanna send automated text messages when someone calls or anything like that. So make sure you set this up properly. You're gonna go into the phone number, edit configuration. We're gonna disconnect enable, but we're gonna also put on call recording. I change this to 45 seconds on both ingoing and outgoing we're gonna just put in the main person to get a call and we're gonna forward the calls to their actual real business line but this way people can respond and reply immediately with our automation so let me just grab the number real quick Okay, so any call to the tracking number will be forwarded to the business line, which will be recorded and incoming and outgoing timeout is 45 seconds, so plenty of time, and then it's gonna go over to Curtis here. So we're gonna save that, and then any call will be, the contact info will be added here under, if you go back and under contacts, you'll see the call, and then we can tag the calls if we use by source, whether it was organic, direct, paid ads, uh, and if we're going to do like, for example, a very dedicated page, we might want to have a number pool for lead tracking and it goes to a specific page. But for now, we just need a regular number so we can get A to P verified. So you can either go to Trust Center or click Start Now. Scroll down here and start registering. Right, so we're going to have this. We're going to have the corporation name, industry, the website. All that should be pre-filled out. Wait, let me make sure we have the EIN. Yeah, we're good there. That's important. We'll blog, We'll blur this out. We're gonna go to the street name. We got the contact info. And that's initially, if you do that right away, the correct way, uh, when you're collecting the business info, most of this should be filled out. You're gonna need to hit this checkbox because they're gonna charge you one time, which is a pain in the butt. Now, if we're only sending 6,000 segments per day, we're not sending that many more text messages at all, probably maybe 10 to 20 a day and so we're low volume. So the easiest way is to go in and just click the C example and then we're changing the company name. So we can hit copy, paste this. If they're gonna do appointments and stuff, this is a good, good, good way to do it. So we're gonna change it to Palomar Solar. Solar and roofing. And we can use the ampersand so once they booked an appointment with Palomar Solar Roofing and opt in to proceed from Palomar Solar Roofing. So it's the same thing. We're just going to replace the company name here with this, right? Now we're going to do this example. We're just going to take one of these texts and we'll basically say, all right, here, we'll do this. Hey, this is, we'll say Curtis. So match the owner's name from Palomar. Solar and oops. Palomar Solar and Roofing. Blah blah blah. That's a text message. Here's another example. Just confirming their appointment. Alright, so we're gonna paste that one in as well. Hey, this is Curtis. We're confirming your appointment tomorrow at 9 a.m. We'll just say with Palomar Solar and Roofing. And then we're gonna go and continue. So we're gonna do this one needs to be a very specific landing page because if we're building a landing page funnel with a few steps, then we can just use that landing page. If we're going to the regular website, then we need to make sure that we have that website, um, the SMS consent added to the checkbox. So we're gonna change this link to the new landing page and then user checks a box, blah, 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 this will start. And we need to get that number. So let's go ahead and pull that number back up. I'm gonna do a duplicate page. Go back here, go to the phone numbers, go to manage numbers here, and then pull up the new phone number. Once it loads, okay, so there it is. We're gonna go over here and paste it. Ah, oh, Jesus, okay, so that's all right. Start registering, should be filled out. Didn't submit, 
continue, continue, continue. Continue. Okay, so it's still in there, which is good. We just need to work on this one. So we need to make sure we take note of this number and we'll add it in here once we, well, we can just paste it for now and then we'll see the example. We'll put it in here and we'll just paste it above that and then we'll swap it out. Okay. Leave the one just so have everything that they want. <clears throat> and then let's put that landing page back in. Copy that over here. This is a very specific landing page because we're going to run paid traffic to it. So we can track everything. And let's put that comma in just for shits and giggles. And then the opt in message. So we're going to go back here and I want to just copy exactly what we did. So there's no concern if you do that exactly how it is on the form, we should have good luck. Oops, it's twice. So we're going to go ahead and hit submit. That's how you submit for A to P and then hope for the best. <clears throat> if something comes up, uh, then you're going to go into this help button and start talking to people. And I prefer to just jump on Zooms and try to figure it out. You might need a CP 575 form from the business. Everything needs to match. They're just making sure that if you're going to send messages out with automation, that you are the real business owner and this is a real business. So I hope that helps. Please hit the subscribe button and like this video, share with anyone else looking to set up A to P. Thank you so much. All right, so good news. Back working with uh, the brand part that you saw, this is about a day ago, we were able to get verified on the brand. So now we just need to do the campaign. So you can say your A to P brand is verified. So go back over to your app here, log in, go to phone numbers, and then trust center and you'll see that the campaign right here is you just need to go ahead and create campaign so let's follow these steps and it's basically the same stuff here this looks good this looks good this looks good i don't even know why they make you do it again it's just kind of redundant everything's set up and it's like come on just automatically do it so go ahead and hit submit and then we will finish the video off with the final approval. But if you run into trouble, then give us a, a call or, or book a meeting and we can help you out. Now, if you use our link below, we'll have a sign up so you can sign up for the software and send out automated messages. And the cool part about this one is once you get a number, you can use a chat, you can train your AI agent on your website. FAQs, anything that has to do with your business, and you can get questions answered while you're asleep and typically book appointments. So, all right, have a great day. Talk to you soon. All right, what's going on? So, as you remember, that we just submitted, and then now it's been, I think it was just a day later, we got this where uh, your campaign's been approved. So, you still need to go in back into your uh, software, right? Go into the system. Go back to phone numbers. So that's under settings. Phone numbers. And you can see here, A, A to P compliant. And if you've gone through the trust center, you wanna make sure that you also do the campaign. So the brand and the campaign, basically you just had to go down here and submit the campaign enter, enter, enter. Most of the stuff should already be done. And then it's finally approved, right? So then we get the message. But if we go back over to manage numbers, the final step is if you forget to do this, sometimes it doesn't work. You need to click on these three dots and link this to the campaign that's gonna be the A to P. So we're gonna use this phone number and we're gonna click here. There we go, linked shortly. So now you see the A to P verified. That's when you know you're good to go. The messages should work. Do not send a bunch of messages day one. Just either drip mode or send maybe five to 10 messages to customers per day. We had a, a mobile detailing collect about 800 names and text numbers and emails, which is amazing, right? And he never once reached out to those people. So we started a text campaign and we're just doing like 20 texts a day. Right, so 20 texts one day, and he's booking five to seven jobs 
a day from that reminder of like, hey, we exist. I know your car's dirty by now, right? Or maybe you do a quick offer like, hey, book this week and save 25 bucks, whatever it is on your business, your offer, but you're A to P verified. You can now be automated with your emails and text messages to your prospects, leads, clients, everything like that. So you're good to go there. If you have any questions, reach out. There's probably a calendar link below. You can book time with me. All I ask for is at least a $10 coffee deposit. Don't waste my time. And then there's other campaigns where we build the Google Maps for you, and that's 197 But we build the entire campaign, we do the keyword research, and we give you a full business brief so you have tons of marketing messaging for the rest of your stuff. So I hope that helps. Uh, again, David with ClickTrack Marketing. Tap the like button. Actually, just go ahead and destroy it, smash it, and then follow and subscribe. All right, catch you later.